Alright, we're doing a bit of a travel video here, and uh, I'm really impressed with this room. Doing a trip here, and we've already done a couple of videos, so you're going to see some of this gear from the other side. Got our laptop, brought a couple of large screen monitors here so we get some work done on this trip. We've got our tactical dog here with us this weekend. And let's take a look around this uh, trip's gear. We brought the laptop. Of course, like I mentioned, the big monitor, the small hard drive. All of this stuff pretty much kept came in the uh, messenger bag there. And then I kept the monitor in the box it was shipped in. That's not coffee. That's food for this guy. Got some extra water. This room actually worked out pretty well with this table, and I can't tell you how many times we've traveled and we don't have a table, and it's horrible. Uh, I really find having a little cordless keyboard and mouse with Bluetooth are the way to go. Uh, if your computer doesn't already have it, uh, these little dongles work well. We've got the power strip there, and uh, everything running off of that and charging up. We do have some of the stuff being charged up over here uh, from that outlet, though. This time I'm... Uh, running from uh, the, what is this, the Spec Ops THE bag. I uh, like to obviously keep a couple of pistols handy. We're not too far from the border where we happen to be this weekend. Uh, brought some stuff for videos. Take a quick look at the support gear. This has changed a little bit from some of our other trips. And I also want to talk about this little wallet which I've been just liking more and more every time I use it. I'm not going to get into that bag. That's just my normal stuff. Uh, cameras, guns, extra ammo. And I do like to work from the bag next to the bed like that. Middle of the night something happens, jump into the boots, grab the bag, I've got everything. I happen to be working on the computer here so the gun's over there, but normally it would just be in the bag with me. Um, and I do have a whistle and my flashlight uh, here uh, handy as well. In fact, flashlight must be in the bag. Um, again, at night it's all going to be staged so that I have fast access and I can get out. Let's take a look at the support gear. Same old uh, camera insert from guys at Sotec. Great stuff, works great for me. Um, I changed up a little bit. I still got my power bag. So this is a AC inverter and everything that I would need in case I got stuck somewhere on the side of the road uh, at a campground or something or you know wherever I just might be able to unplug a Coke machine and you know, get some power, power out of a vehicle, uh, multiple adapters so that whatever we're using can get charged up. Also, a couple of different things I'm going to be doing open the boxes on some new gear I got, but all the chargers for the other cameras. And the main thing that I've changed up this time is I started bringing my ham radio with uh, so that, you know, after the stuff going on in Japan and everything, kind of makes you up again you know things can happen so if something does go down I've got my ham radio we've got GPS units uh, I've got the shortwave in here where you go the shortwave from Radio Shack that we did a review on really been enjoying this one um, the way that we're running this week is I'm not I'm taking this stuff with me when we're out doing our coverage uh, so I've got it all packed up but I've been using that as my alarm clock and uh, you know having a nice high-speed internet connection in a laptop. I don't think I've even turned on the TV this trip. So thanks to everybody on YouTube who's making videos because uh, definitely better options in my opinion than watching the TV. Everything else in this is pretty much the same. Uh, it's our spare cameras, uh, some support gear like you know batteries and 550 cord. I always bring a craps felt and a, uh, some dice and a deck of cards. Again just in case you get stuck somewhere it's, it's easy to start playing some games that way. Some batteries uh, and then, like I say, the radio and some antennas. So, uh, support gear changed just a bit in that I started bringing the ham radio uh, along with me. And I want to talk about this wallet real quick, too, in this video. Uh, again, Spec Ops. This is their shoulder wallet. And the thing that I like best about this thing, the thing I don't like still is unzipping it. I can't think of a better idea of how to keep it open and closed, but I just can't help feeling like a little lady with a change purse every time I open it in the store or whatever. But what I like about it is I put in one of these Fisher Trekker pens uh, and it's on the hinge there and I wasn't sure if that was going to be too stiff in a wallet but I haven't noticed it and 
I just, I'm digging it. I can keep all my receipts on a trip like this in this side. You know, all my cards and everything are uh, here. And then, you know, my other cards and stuff. So in other words, it's, it's large enough to really be an admin pouch more than just a wallet. And again, when traveling like this, I really like that. I don't need a name tag this time, so I didn't bring the normal THE wallet. Just a little preview. We do have some gear here to unbox on the trip. And uh, that's about it. I like to document our travel setup uh, as much for anybody who's interested in watching it as just for ourselves as we, uh, you know, evolve over the years. Our setup changes, so it's just neat to uh, post these videos really for ourselves even. Hey, do something good for the video here. Alright, thanks for watching.